right, we're live, eight o'clock central time. I've got my makeup going out, makeup case. Got my brushes, got everything else. We're ready to go. Hi guys, thanks for joining. I'm just, there's no agenda here. It's just kind of whatever kind of questions you have. I'm gonna take off what little makeup I do have so I'll have a clean slate. So if you have any questions about application or anything else, um, regarding any of the products and then until we have a question I'll just kind of go through the product line and answer sort of what the product is used for the multiple uses you can do um, use it for and a little bit about it pretty simple so today I didn't wear much makeup because I knew I was doing this and so I just had 3d lash mascara on a little bit of Perfect black eyeliner and some sultry lip stain. And then I just did some powder, pressed powder and bronzer. Nothing too exciting. Take off the remaining of that lip stain here. Thanks for joining. Again, this is only my third one, so I'm still getting used to this. It's kind of different and it's a little awkward because it is live, you can't record it, you can't watch it and fix it and edit it, and it is what it is. <laughs> so grab a glass of wine, coffee, water, whatever you need, and I'm just gonna get, get started. So I'm gonna kinda take you through my daily routine. In the morning I use our Illuminate Clear face wash. This can be used as a mask, obviously apply it dry. Um, with just a little bit of water, put it on, let it dry. Um, you can also add just a little bit of sugar and apply it as a, as a sugar scrub, like an exfoliator. And then of course, just use it as a face wash as well. So I use this one, it's great for oily skin. Um, it's made with aloe vera and licorice root along with other some amazing natural ingredients. Um, and it just leaves my skin feeling super, super soft and silky, silky smooth. So after I've done that in the shower, I kind of come out. I don't use moisturizer in the morning because I do have oily skin. Um, and so it just makes it even oilier. Um, thank you for the hearts. Appreciate it. Um, so I don't, again, use any moisturizer in the morning because if once you're putting on the primer and everything like that, it just makes my skin even oilier. So I save that for night. Um, but next, I use my ultimate favorite product in the whole world. This is Glorious Primer. If you are wearing makeup and you're not wearing a face primer, no matter what brand of makeup you're wearing, you're missing out and uh, you're kind of wasting your money on your makeup because a primer, face, eye, face and eye primer is amazing. It keeps your makeup looking smooth all day long. It fills in all your fine lines and wrinkles so then your makeup doesn't settle throughout the day. So you know when you see people and they're walking around with a big old crease of eyeshadow, yeah, that's because they don't have a primer on. Um, and so when you sweat naturally, that's what happens. Your sweat just kind of makes that makeup crease and disappear throughout the day. So a primer is must have. And I just take, this is the old bottle. We, we've redone our bottle, so it's a little bit different. But I just take a little dollop like that. It's really, really silky smooth. Feels amazing. And I just put it all over. And I put my hair back today just so I could have it out of the way. But normally, I take whatever's extra on my hands and I put it through my hair and it just kind of helps defrizz and just, I put it on my ends because I've got an ombre. So I've got the, um, I didn't, for some reason it's not showing me your question. So I missed that first question. I'm sorry. Hi there. Hi, Lissy Lashes. Um, so you normally I just take the extra and I just put it on the ends of my hair and that just kind of helps um, keep them soft and being dyed that they can dry out really easy. So um, that helps a lot. It's a great hair serum. So as that's kind of drying on my face, I will, as you can tell, I'm, I get red. I have a little bit of redness like rosacea here. Um, and so that's why I kind of love our products because it doesn't irritate it more. And it also covers up. The cream foundation is amazing and the powder covers all that up. So as that's drying, I will get my eyeshadows ready and pick out whatever colors I want for that day. 
Another thing that primer is good for is it makes mineral pigments really vibrant. So you can basically go from blah color to something really vibrant and I'll show you the difference. I'm just going to put a little bit of pigment here on my hand. I'm just going to pick a really cool colorful pigment. Let's go with Heartbroken, which is one of my favorites. I don't wear it enough, probably. It's just a really pretty sparkly mauve. It's the best way to describe it. And I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Thanks for the hearts. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like without pigment. So if this is what you were going to put on without any pigment, or excuse me, without any primer, just right on your eyelid, it's going to look like that. Let me get this primer to dry a little bit, soak it in. Take a little bit more pigment on my brush and I'll put it on the primer. First it goes on smoother. That's a huge benefit to you wearing a primer as well. It goes on smoother. You can blend it easier. Your pigments together, you can blend easier. But just look at the vibrance. Look at that. That's with pigment or with um with a primer and that's without a primer. So imagine that on your eye. This would be boring, dull, way more vibrant will stand out all day long. This will be this will make it stay. Just a much more prettier. I wish it was more natural light in this room, but it's getting dark here. <laughs> Not dark, but it's getting darker, so I don't have much natural light, but it's just a, such a pretty color. There's a little bit it's so pretty. It's like this just rose, sparkly rose. I just love it. So primer, definitely must have. It's going to make everything pop. By your just colors are going to be way more vibrant for sure. So that's primer. It's a must have, must, must have. Hands down, get a face primer. Make sure it's a face, not just an eye primer because a lot of brands will sell an eye primer, um, but not a face primer. So make sure it's a face all over, face and eye primer. Um, as I'm doing my pigments on my eyes, I'm really messy, so I save my face for last. I, I save my all over face for last. Some people ask me how I like choose colors, and a lot of it's uh, by mistake, to be honest, with my looks. I just kind of pick colors that I think are fun. I'll show you an everyday color that I like to do. And you can do it with a brown or you can do it with a black. Um, if you just want to pick your two neutral colors, one, one's a black for your darker days, you know, when you're wearing a lot of black, excuse me, or you can do a neutral, neutral brown. So I'm going to choose confident. It's a shimmer. Actually, no, let's do, let's do infatuated because it's one of my favorite mattes because some people don't like shimmer. So. I just tap a little bit in my lid. I'm going to grab my brush. Pretty easy. I know, right? This is my just easy go-to. I don't put um, my makeup on with any rhyme or reason. I'm really actually pretty sloppy with it. People might be surprised based on my outcome of most of my looks, my before and afters. But this I'm just going to kind of put in the corner halfway to my lid. Again, this is just my easy everyday when I don't have a lot of time, but I really want to put something on. And I'm going to show you a little bit of trick what I do too, because a lot of people are like, well, how do you get your neutral colors to look so vibrant? Besides primer, which is awesome, you can also use rose water. This is a great moisturizer for your, it's a replenishing botanical boost for your face. It's a great little moisturizer. It's also when your makeup's all done, you can also spritz it on your face for a little bit of, uh, to set your makeup. But what I like to use it as is I put a little one or two squirts on my brush. I put it in my pigment on the top of the lid here, make it a little bit creamy. And that also will make your colors more vibrant, especially the neutrals. Um, infatuated is kind of a, the darkest matte brown, but beautiful or irresistible or a lot lighter and um, more tan. So they might need a little boost with rose water. See, already darker. 
that's just primer and this is primer and rose water. Again, it does not look pretty, I know. Just wait, just wait, I promise. I'm gonna go do the other eye. I figure for me, when I'm blending everything, um, how it's applied previous, like before, doesn't really bother me. But because I am messy, um, that's why I do my face makeup blast, <laughs> as you can tell. Okay, so now take my favorite, which is curious, put some in the lid here. And I'm gonna take my blending brush, and I'm gonna get it wet with rose water. Two squirts, make it creamy again in the lid with the curious. And I just, I'm a dabber. I like to dab the color on first before I blend it. And I just kind of bring the colors together. See, and you can barely see that brown anymore because it just kind of fades away with the color when you're blending it. So you go from that to that. Doesn't look all crazy, right? Curious and Sexy are great colors for highlighting the brow area as well. So again, an easy two color look hard to see in this, so I'm going to do this here. Then you're like, well, where'd my brown go? Just take your brush and just add a little more over the, over the white. It's a way to control it as well, because I know sometimes you can put a little bit too much. That's an easy everyday two colors, not much blending. You don't need to know too many techniques about applying makeup because I think that's what women fear most is that I don't know how to apply makeup or I'm not great at, thank you for the hearts. Um, I'm not great at it. You know, you probably, you know, in order to look good, you have to know what you're doing. And I just learn, I just practice. You just keep practicing. You know, no eye is ever the same. I mean, they're always going to be a little bit different. I mean, I can't ever get them the same, to look exactly the same. It's just art. Makeup is art. Kisses to you too, thank you. Um, but yeah, it's just think of makeup as art. It's, it's your personality, it's what you like. It's, I mean, there's no rhyme or right way of doing it. I mean, yeah, there's makeup artists that show you techniques and, um, that are great and I love learning from them. I follow a lot of them on YouTube and Instagram and I try to recreate their looks and try to learn, you know, from them because I definitely know more <laughs> properly what they're doing with brushes and techniques and stuff. But if you just want to keep it simple and easy, stick to two colors. That way you don't have to worry about blending and adding three different colors make sure it looks okay. If you're not comfortable and you're new to makeup, stick with just two colors. Easy peasy. Some people just put it all over their eye. There are ways to applying eyeshadow based on your eye shape. So if that's something you want to learn, definitely YouTube that or there's tons of um, graphics out there that show you based on your eye shape. Um, some people put it all over their lid and then just put the highlighter up here. I put it kind of in the corner towards the middle, like half of my eyelid. Some people just put it in the corner. Some people just put it in the crease. I mean, it's so whatever makes you happy, go with it, run with it, you know? Just make sure when you're blending, you're blending and not like having lines of every color. You don't wanna do that. That is a no-no. <laughs> so that's rose water. Rose water, again, great for putting on previous to your makeup. Um, some people will spritz it on their face and then put the primer over it. Great moisturizer. It's also a great makeup setter. Um, great for sunburns, rose water. If it's summertime, sunburns will help tremendously. 
Um, it's naturally based again, obviously. Um, and some people will also put it on your pillow at night, just one or two squirts. It just kind of is refreshing and, and calming. But I'll read you a little bit about it. Refresh Rose Water is beauty best kept secret. Its natural ingredients make for a botanical boost that calms and soothes irritated and dry skin while effectively removing oil and dirt from clogged pores. It cleans and prepares the skin beautifully for makeup application. If you're not using rose water, give it a try. It's awesome. Love it. Next comes eyeliners. Um, I love eyeliners. They're, I haven't been able to um, perfect the cat eye yet. That's just not something I'm good at. Something I continue to try, but again, not my specialty. I am like, I've seen, I, don't, I think it's a video that's out where the lady, the lady starts and then she keeps adding and adding and adding and before you know it, it's like her whole face is black. It's pretty much how I feel sometimes when I try to do a cat eye. I don't know if anybody else out there feels me, feels the same way and they just can't figure it out. Yeah, you're not alone. So we have 10. Unique has 10 colors right now for eyeliners. My favorites are probably going to be Pristine, which is white. Um, the reason I love this is because it's used for so many things. So you can use it on the bottom here. And this is going to, white eyeliner is great to make your eye pop. And then you could also use it in the corner of your eye to kind of make that look brighter, which is a technique that a lot of makeup artists like to use. You can cover it with a little curious if you want to, if I've got any left on my brush. Um, you can use it to do an ombre look on your lip, which is filling in your lip and then putting the white in the middle with just a little bit of, um, just a little bit of lip liner. So you use whatever lip line you want and then put a little of the white here and here Put on a lip gloss, not really mash your lips together because then the white will kind of blend and you can't really see it, but it creates an ombre look. I'm still mastering that. I'm not great at that either. Second liner that's my favorite is Passionate. It's a purple. I absolutely love it. Um, these eyeliners are waterproof and smudge proof, which are great. I've put them to the test. Passionate, yes, Passionate's my favorite. If you've got green eyes, purple eyeliner amazing it's awesome of course you've got your others your basics your browns your light your light brown your dark brown your black another one uh, precarious which is navy which is also really pretty and then this is a silver polished it's silver really pretty too something that I think is underused is precious which is gold and I actually love using it it's great summer color. It's really pretty. But I usually use it just under my eye for a little pop of color. So I'm going to do um, Perfect, which is black because it's simple and everybody knows it. But I'm going to do the difference. I'm going to do on my one eye, I'm going to do black on the bottom. And the other eye, I did white. So you can kind of see the difference. The white makes your eyes pop a little bit more and keep them looking a little bit more open. So this is a great daytime look and this is a great nighttime look. And so for me with eyeliner, I'm pretty simple. Thank you for the hearts. I just do on my, um, kind of like my inside of my eye. I don't do thick eyeliner. I'm just not a thick eyeliner girl. If it's the only thing I'm wearing, I'll do a line. But if I've got eyeshadow on and stuff, I'm more of just a inside, line the eye, kind of gal. Pretty simple. And then I do the bottom. I guess I should put the white on the other eye, even though they're a little bit different. Just an inside. For those of you who've just joined and you're missing, missed this a little bit, the white eyeliner has multiple uses. Not only an ombre lip, but you can corner of your eye to make it brighter. You, another great thing too is if you don't have an eye um, eye primer at this moment, but you have white liner, put the white liner all over your lid, and that also is a great eye primer. 
and it holds the color of your shadows as well and makes them more vibrant. So that's another tip for white eyeliner. So if you don't have a primer at this moment, white eyeliner is another option. A great option, actually. So these are the liners I tested. Just going to show you there's smudge proof. You can hear me rubbing. Nothing. Sorry, I know that's gross. I just licked my finger, but it's the closest water I had. <laughs> Nothing. They're not moving. Nothing. Awesome. Good, good stuff. Um, so obviously I've got my eyes, two, two pigment eyeshadow on, my liner. I'm going to finish up my eyes. Give you a little bit of demonstration about the 3D Lash Mascara if you've never tried it by Unique. It's um, the transfer gel. So there's two tubes. It's the transplanting gel. Looks like a normal mascara wand. And then you've got the fibers. These fibers are green tea. They're made from green tea leaves. So they're 100% natural fibers. And they're actually smaller than an, an eyelash. So they're really, 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 really small and thin. If they get in your eye, it's not going to give you an infection. It's not going to, it's, you know, it will irritate you a little bit. You just scoop it out. It's gone. It's done. And this mascara actually naturally kind of curls your lashes, so you don't really need to use an eyelash curler. If you want to, you can. Like for me, I typically do when I'm done because my eyelashes are longer, but they're straight. They don't have any natural curl. So I tend to sometimes, sometimes if I want to get fancy, I will put, um, I'll curl them at the end. But i got to use this mirror because I can't do that. So you just want to put a really, really good coat of the transplanting gel on. My next periscope actually is going to be um, comparing 3D mascara to the Tyra Banks new line, Smack My Fat Lash, because um, I just got in the mail the other day, so I'm going to I'm going to do a live par um, a live to, uh, comparison. I can't even talk. I'm sorry. So right there, I've already got a little bit of lash compared, and that's just the transplanting gel. There's different ways to do the 3D lashes. No right, there's no right way or wrong way. I think everybody has a way of doing it differently, whatever works best for you. Um, never heard of what? Lizzie, what did you not what have you not heard of? Tyra Banks? Smack my fat lash. Oh yeah. They just came out, it's a new line. She's starting a new company. Um, so she's still got some of her products in, um, they're just kind of testing them out. So she doesn't have too many, too many products. Um, actually I think they don't even physically launch. Um, I know she was on the home shopping network recently and, um, people are joining, um, kind of, I think it's a direct selling company as well. Um, but they don't physically launch like they're just right now trying to build their pre presenters, I believe. So um, I tried it, I, or I'm going to try it. I did a comparison with a picture, um, when I first got it and I had actually done a video as well. Sorry. I'm now I'm going back over with one more coat. The first coat of transplant gel was just a base coat. No, nothing does. I have yet to find something that beats unique 3d lash mascara and I'll tell you why, but let me finish. <laughs> finish. So I put the base coat of the gel, the first coat of gel was just a base coat, and then I went over and I put another coat on, and you want to go right back immediately to the fibers and put those on because you don't want the gel to dry because that's what the fibers stick to. Um, the reason why I say that nothing has beaten 3D Unique's 3D Lash Mascara for me yet, and I am all about trying different kinds because I like makeup, just because I sell Unique and I love unique products doesn't mean that I'm not willing to try other brands. I love doing comparisons with brands, whether it be mascara, lipstick. I actually bought some Anastasia Beverly Hills um, matte lipstick, and it's horrible. I, I hate to say that, but I did not like it. First, the color did not match anything like the website. And then when I put it on, it like got it got all over my teeth, and it was it was not pretty. Not pretty at all. And then I bought some Dose. Um, again, the color was horrific. It did not match anything like the website. And of course, neither company have a return policy, which I think is pretty
pretty crappy because I paid $22 or $26 for each of them. So it's a lot of money for a color I'm never going to use and I can't return. So we have a 14 day return policy, which I love. So if you don't like the color, obviously you can get a different one. But so if you have any products that you want me to compare and do, please let me know. I am all about it. If you have a favorite mascara or a favorite lipstick or eyeshadow or something, I'll test it out. I don't even have to compare it to Unique. I'll just test it out and give you a review. I'm down with that because I love makeup. I love going into Sephora. I love checking out new things. Um, tried some Makeup Forever. Um, I tried some Makeup Forever eyeshadow and the colors are really nice, but they're not very vibrant at all. Even with the primer I found, um, and they didn't last all day long. So, but the colors are pretty. I still use them here and there for um, fillers and blending and stuff like that. But So I put one coat of fibers on each eye so far. And I am all about using the end of my brush a lot. Again, no, I didn't curl my lashes yet or anything. So now you want to steal the fibers because otherwise they will flake throughout the day. Once I seal them, then I go back and I focus just on the tips. And I focus on the tips so I can get them a little bit longer. The first coat I feel for me is just getting them a little bit thicker. And the reason why I say that nothing's compared yet is because my left eye actually has miss a just missing lashes and it's they're thinner on the left side um, and you don't really notice it unless I put mascara on and so that's why I like 3d because it fills it in and it makes it look even to my right side so I can get them looking the exact same almost you could still see it a little bit of a difference but I've yet to find anything that fills it in like the fibers. So that's one coat, this is two coats. And again, I just focused on the tips. You can put as many coats of, of Unique 3D Fiber Lashes on that you want. Um, another reason I like it compared to others is because the fibers are made of green tea, you know, so they are 100% natural for the fibers, um, whereas other fiber brands are made of nylon. And when those puppies get in your eye, holy cow, they itch and they hurt. So I'm all about putting something a little bit safer towards my eye since it is my eyesight and all. And I'd like to keep it for as long as possible. And once you start using this a lot and it's kind of your daily routine it becomes much faster like I can do both eyes in less than five minutes and that's two to three coats each eye if I wanted to in the beginning it kind of gets tricky because you're learning how to work with it even though it's applied like mascara it is different I'm not gonna lie um, but it does become pretty easy once you figure out what routine works for you Some people, I've seen some videos going around, some people will put the gel inside their lashes. Um, it doesn't work for me. I feel like it weights them down a little bit, but it works for some people. Um, I also tend to get it way up here if I do that, and that doesn't always, it's not always fun when I already have my pigments on and then I've got to redo them or touch them up. So, And then I'm just going to go back. I'm only going to do two coats, so I don't bore you. And I'm just going to go back and seal those fibers in, make sure I get the tips, because that's what I've applied last. And if they're done right, they don't look stringy, they don't look spidery, they don't look clumpy. If anything, take a lash comb. Or a safety pin. If you have any other fibers just kind of hanging off the tips, just pull those off. It's not going to damage anything or ruin your look. And that's it. That's two coats. Looks 
Like false lashes, right? I love this stuff. If you haven't tried it yet, I'm sorry. You're missing out. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. You have short little, short little lashes still. Thanks, Lizzie. Appreciate it. And I don't put the fibers on my bottom just because I don't like super, super, super long bottom lashes. I just, that looks weird to me. Again, just, that's me. Um, I also have pretty long bottom lashes too, so I don't want to accentuate them anymore. But for someone who has small lashes on the bottom, thanks for the hearts. You can put them, you can put the fibers on the bottom. Just be really careful because they are shorter and it is closer to your eye. You have a, a higher chance of getting them thank you, um, getting them in your eyes. So just be careful of that. So now I've got my eyes done and I'm going to finish the look with a full face. Let me know if anybody has any questions about any of the products so far or anything about the unique opportunity and how to get started with your own small business, um, and change your life like it's changed mine. Gotta find mine. Okay, so I, we have BB cream, if you're familiar with BB cream. I'll just throw it. We have BB creams. I, thank you for all the hearts. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you guys. Um, BB creams, I love them. They're great, really super lightweight, great for summer. But again, I have oily skin, so I don't use this because this is just a tinted moisturizer. Um, and if I put this on, I just look super shiny. So if you have oily skin, whether it's Unique's BB cream or not, and you're noticing that your skin is oily and it's not working as well or covering as well, it's probably because you have oily skin and you shouldn't be wearing BB cream. Even with a pressed powder, it wasn't working for me. Um, someone was saying that they have oily skin too and they use BB cream, um, but she puts a powder over it and it works for her. And that's awesome. Um, it just hasn't worked for me yet. Plus, I don't feel it covers my rosacea as much. So I use blending buds to put on my... I'm almost out. How depressing. But I will get every last drop of this. This is the Cream Touch Foundation. It's really super light. I use blending buds to apply just because it creates a smoother look. And I don't feel like I get the lines. And I feel like I use less product if I use these. And again, I've been told it's a little weird that I put my foundation on last. Apparently, most people are putting it on first and then they finish their eyes. Um, it's just how I've always done it. <laughs> so maybe I'm one of the few, but that's just how I've always done it because I just feel like I can wipe away any eyeshadow that may have, you know, be down here or anything that's out of place. Oh, good. Someone else puts it on last. <laughs> oh, good. A makeup artist puts it on after eyes, too. Okay, good. Woohoo! Yay! Oh, yes. To each their own, for sure. I just thought it was funny because when I was doing consultations on one on one appointments <laughs> and I was putting it on last, they're like, well, I was wondering when you were going to do that. I've just never done it that way. And I, I just thought it, <laughs> I thought it was funny. I was like, wow, well, well, maybe I'm just different, but. And some of this redness is beyond rosacea. It's just being nervous, obviously, because this is whole Periscope thing is new to me and awkward because I feel like I'm talking to myself, even though there's people I know on the other end, probably and listening and watching, but it's still awkward. You know, you're putting yourself out there. <laughs> and I may have had a glass of wine prior to this as well, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and wine always makes me red. Anybody else get that red chest when they drink wine? Like you're allergic to the tannins? Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the compliment. Okay. And you always want to bring it down, blend it in, blend it in with your hairline into your ear. People forget that and then they walk out and it's got a big old line. And again, I am no makeup artist by any means and I have so much to learn still. But I love just learning and I love practicing and playing with makeup and, and just learning new stuff. So moving on to pressed powder. I'm almost out again. Sad. It's always a sad day when you get low on your makeup or you run out before your next shipment comes. <laughs> I always try to have a backup, but 
Thank you. HM X by X six. I don't know your name. I'm sorry. What is your name, sweetheart? <laughs> All these usernames. I don't know their new, real names. Um, but she said my eyes look great. So thank you. I appreciate that. Love press powder. Um, cream touch foundation, BB cream, HM. <laughs> thank you. I'll just use that. Um, Press powder, cream foundation, BB cream, all great for cover-up tattoos as well or um, any type of um, major scarring that you want to cover for any special occasion. Those are all great products. That's what they can be used for as well besides just the face. Um, I just love it. Next, I'm going to use Sunset Beachfront Bronzer. This is one of our newest products came out, and I love them. This is also many, many reasons, uh, or multiple purposes, I should say, that you can use this. Um, hi, Kimmy. Thank you. <laughs> I like names. I like real names. Um, Beachfront bronzer. It could be if you're just on a quick trip and you don't want to bring your whole makeup bag, just grab your bronzer. You can use it as bronzer. You can also use an eyeshadow. Two in one. I like multiple purposes. I love two in one things. Three in one. Whatever. Just a little Beachfront bronzer. You can also use this for highlight, a quick highlighting. So for a quick highlight and contour, you can use this. There's also a new thing um, called, what's it called? The, um, oh my gosh, not highlighting, contouring, but um, the new where you put all the shiny here and here for picture. Um, I'm just totally drawing the blank. Strobing, yes, thank you. Thank you, HM, strobing. I, I'm i still learning about that. I, I've i watched a few things on it and I, I get it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of work to do on learning how to do that. So I'm gonna go over it with you just a little bit from what I've seen so far. So some people have used our cream shadows, which is also long lasting no crease cream shadow. Most people are afraid to try cream shadow because they think it creases and it doesn't last as long. But I'll tell you right here, a splurge, awesome. Definitely not creasy and uh, works amazing. So I've seen some people do the strobing. They use Charming. Um, I've also seen them use Elegant, which is what I'm gonna use. I've tried Charming um, and I liked Elegant better. But it's the same idea. So you just kind of supposed to put it where if someone were taking a picture of you or where the light sunlight naturally hits your face is where you're supposed to accentuate with the strobing technique right am I right help me out girls so you put it here nose put it right here where Supposedly the sunlight's gonna hit first. You put a little bit more on this side. I think I didn't put put a little bit on the top lip. If you wanted to, you could put a little bit here on your chin. Again, everybody just like highlight um, contouring, highlighting, contouring. That works differently for everybody. Everyone's face shape is differently, so each each way to contour and highlight is gonna be different for everybody. So just keep that in mind. Don't stress out if. If you feel like, you know, you're not doing it right. And then I'm going to take a little bit of sexy. And I'm just going to go back over those areas. See where it's kind of shiny? You can wipe away if you get too much. Thank you for all the hearts. Go back down through the nose. And this kind of just taking a brush too kind of helps blend, I guess the uh, cream shadow that you put on. And then you're supposed to go back with like the matte side of your bronzer with your brush and just go on the outside of your nose, sort of light contouring. Oh, thank you. I'll tell you what, my complexion has gotten way better since using Unique. And I'll tell you, I used to be a matte girl, a little bit about me and my makeup history. 
started with Clinique, um, and then of course drugstore stuff. Um, and then I, when I started getting, you know, my, making my own money, <laughs> I was a Mac girl because Mac was it. You wore Mac. That was, you know, that's just what you do. It was the thing back then. And I was making my own money, so it's kind of like a treat for me. And I had hundreds of dollars in Mac. I'm telling you, I had three palettes. I there's not a day I could wouldn't walk into a store and buy Mac as if I was passing through. I would buy something. So um, throughout the years of them of me using Mac, they never once told me about a face primer, which was really disappointing because I was using all of that expensive makeup and definitely wasn't getting my money's worth. But I did use an eye primer. I did use their their eye primer, which helped a lot with their colors. Um, but, um, and then I came upon Unique. Um, Deanna, my sponsor, is a founding presenter. Um, I heard you could make your own palettes with the pigments. I really, really want to do that. I just saw that the other day. Because um, um, I like the idea of having the pressed pigments. Easy. Quick and easy. I like that. Thank you, HM. Um, but yeah, I came across Unique because um, I was in a mom's group. We were all having kids in August. And this was back in 2013, and I had to go back to work in October, and I really didn't want to go. Um, long story short, I have a video on my Facebook um, and my YouTube channel that talks about my story. I recently did that. Um, the title's called You Are Ugly, um, which is obviously um, not something <laughs> that it's just someone had called me ugly the other day, and it just kind of made me think about that whole sentence and how I dealt with it versus how I would have dealt with it in the past and how it kind of just takes you through my life story of short journey of my story um, of how I've become and where I am now today and how unique has helped me get there so I appreciate that uh, this company more than just it's beyond the wand for me it's beyond the makeup and the brushes and everything like that it's way deeper so um, I actually got someone asked about my necklace today and they said is your necklace does it mean something and thank you for all the hearts I appreciate it um, so if you want to go watch it go watch it but the title is called you are ugly so <clears throat> um, and uh, yes confidence for sure it's definitely build my self-esteem unique has done that beyond um, beyond that but um, some lady today at this, we were getting breakfast and the lady was like, Hey, I love, I love your necklace. Does it mean something to you? And I actually kind of caught me off guard for a second because I was like, yes, it does mean something. It's not just a necklace. I said, I'm, I said, um, it's my mission. I'm a beauty, I'm a beauty coach and it's my mission to help uplift and inspire and validate women. She's like, Oh my gosh. She goes, I need to talk to you. And just that you know, it's, there's a reason why I wear this all the time because it's what it's what I believe in and my mission, and it means more to me um, than I forget to always tell people. It's, it's just crazy. I don't know. Um, thank you for all the hearts. Oh, thank you. Um, so I hope she calls me, and she's like, I have some skin issues that I'm dealing with, and I really, really, really would love to talk. She goes, How do I become a beauty coach? And I was like, Well, you join my team. I can talk to you about that. So it was very, just really exciting, and to know that people see these words and it means something to them as well and they want to know what it means or you know what the story behind it is um so I was a Matt girl forever got unique and um I at first I just dabbled in it I let me tell you it took me seven months to go from yellow to pink it, it took forever because I was working full-time and had a brand new baby I didn't really know how to balance my schedule and I really just kind of was doing it for my own I would put pictures up on Facebook and I had some clients and stuff but convention last year is when it changed my life and I listened to Tracy Build, um, who is a phenomenal guest a speaker, and I can't wait for her book to come out. Um, but she has a blog if you want to read it. It's called Get Your Girl Back. And she just changed my life. So I part of the reason why I like to do things like this and stepping out of my comfort zone is because I really want to help women learn. <laughs> Thank you, HM. That's sweet. Um, so everybody has a different reason for makeup. Um, some people wear it just because they feel pretty in it. Some people want to cover up certain things that they're self, uh, you know, self conscious about. And some people don't wear it because they don't know how to apply it. So I just kind of want to help women not only feel better about themselves with makeup, but I also want to hopefully help them um, find out who they are and not let their past define them. Because um, I've learned 
in the last year or two, that's a really sad place to be in if you if you live in the past and you let that define you. So I love doing things like this. Um, not only teaching about the product line, but what it's done for me um, <clears throat> besides a paycheck. And let me stay home with my son. It's it's way beyond that at this point. So anyway, that's a sidetrack. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get really passionate about it, so I apologize. Um, last thing to finish, obviously I've got my strobing. I guess that's what you call it. Can't really tell it in this bathroom light. <clears throat> As you can tell, I'm sitting on my bathroom floor because that's my quiet time. Away from my husband and, and child. Passion is good. Um, I think we all need to have a passion. Whether it be makeup or whatever it is, just find a passion and, and do it. Don't wait till you're financially ready or wait till you finish school or have kids or whatever the excuse may be. Just believe in it and do it. We also have pressed blushes, which are amazing. This one is sweet, which is one of my favorites. And I don't really need any more redness because <clears throat> I'm being nervous, but, and the wine. But I'll just top it off with a little bit of blush. So now that my eyes are finished and I have the black eyeliner and I have the white eyeliner and some eye goobies, let me get those out. You can tell a little bit of the difference with the white and the black. Love white. It's definitely underutilized for sure. So to finish the lips, I'm going to do my favorite lip, which right now happens to be pink because it's summer, and I'm going to use Posh. A couple of reasons uh, I love these lip liners. Again, they're waterproof, so I use them. Sorry, I'm talking too much. Not a bad thing, right? I don't have a lot of girlfriends here, so you guys are kind of like my girlfriends. <laughs> Except for you don't talk back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Okay, so these liners... Fill in your whole lip, or you can just line your lip, but I like to use it kind of like um, lipstick. So I line just a little bit outside my natural line, lip line, to make them full, a little bit fuller because I have no upper lip. There is one thing I would like to change. It would be to get a little bit of collagen or whatever in my upper lip, but whatever. I am who I am. And that's why they have little makeup tricks like this to create something that you don't have, right? So I just kind of fill in my whole lip and I use that as lipstick. Nothing. I love this because I can still kiss my little boy. I can still tackle him. Kiss him. Give him lots of loves. And then we have Skittish. You can also use Skittish Lip Stain, which is our newest thing as well. Our newest product release. Spill Proof, which is great. Love it. Um, Skittish is bright pink. You probably won't be able to see it because I've got the lip liner on, but I'll put it on my, on my uh, hand here. And it's also smudge proof, waterproof. I literally have worn this out a night out. My husband even noticed, he's like, you have no lipstick mark on your glass because I was drinking wine. So I had several, couple glasses of wine and water and I ate dinner and I still had lip stain on. Wasn't coming off, which I love. Same with the liners. Now, obviously, if you take a napkin and you're wiping your face like this, it's going to come off. That's just natural because you're friction. But if you're just dabbing your, your, your mouth and, you know, you're not taking it off by course, it will stay on there forever. I love it. And then I'm just going to top it with our lucrative lip gloss in Lovable, which is just a light pink just for a little bit. So this is where you would add the white liner for the ombre look, which I would have done before filling it in, but you would just add a little. Now normally you'd put this on without the liner underneath it, but I just kind of, this is just for showing you about ombre.
Again, I'm still working on it, but this is from what I've seen and what I've watched on YouTube. That's how some people do it. Again, they put the white on first and then they would line it, the other color around it. But Luger lip gloss, all of our lip glosses come with a mirror. Awesome. So you can see what you're doing no matter where you're, where you are. And if you get one and you're like, it's, I can't see through it. There's a little film on it. Take the little plastic film off before you try using it. Just FYI. <laughs> So people who don't like matte lipsticks, so like the liners, if you're using a liner for being, uh, as a lipstick, it's gonna be matte. So if you don't like that feel, the dryness, put a little bit of chapstick on it or a little bit of lip gloss on it, and the lip gloss will come off. You'll see a little bit of color in the lip gloss, but it won't take off your whole entire lip liner or um, lip stain. So that's a little bit of ombre. You can kinda see the lighter white. There we go. So this right here is one of my favorite colors right now in the summer. I probably wear it almost every day. And if you see a selfie of me, you probably have noticed that it's my favorite color. I normally don't do the ombre look, but um, my other favorite one is Pompous Liner, which is kind of like a burgundy, which is also my favorite. And I pair that with Sultry Lip Stain. Um, it's more of the burg dark burgundy, so it's not super summery color as far as bright, but I love it. It's kind of sexy. Um, and then my other one is actually Savvy, which is purple. And most people are like, purple? Why would you wear purple? But let me tell you, girls, it is so pretty on. It's not like purple. You're not thinking like, it's just not the typical purple. Not like the passionate purple, okay? <laughs> Not the passionate liner purple. It's just kind of like a dark purplish Merlot is what I kind of call it. I love it. So here's the skittish. This, the savvy purple's drying right now. That's why I'm not testing it. But here's the skittish. Okay. It's awesome. Lip stains are great. You don't have to reapply several times a day, several times a day after you eat, after you drink, whatever. You can kiss your loved ones without, I know my husband will not kiss me if I've got lip gloss on. He just won't. It's, it's kind of like, you know, like the little pack with barely anything because he doesn't want to get it on him. So lip stains, lip liners, awesome. No smudge, waterproof, don't have to reapply. Great, great, great product. Especially for a busy mama or a busy woman who's working and doesn't have time to reapply. Especially for me when I was an event planner, which is a job I had previous to doing Unique. And um, before, I, had, well, I was with clients all the time and I'm, you know, eating and drinking in between clients and trying to fit in <clears throat> time for that. And so I didn't ever have time to reapply. So lip stains worked and lip liners worked great. Um, a few other products we have that I haven't touched, touched on are going to be my nightly ritual. So I've got th started throughout the day, started you the beginning of my day with face wash in the shower. I put on my face and then I'm ending with removing it with a cloth. I'm putting on a little divine moisturizer and then my uplift eye serum, which is going to, um, I'm just dab a little bit of, this goes a long way, girls. Whew. Look at that. I've had it. A long time because you only need and it's got a cool little dropper you only need one little drop like literally one little drop dab it here underneath your eyes put it wherever your wrinkles are people have them on their foreheads whatever I have this little line right here that I've been putting it on it doesn't hurt right put this on at night let it soak in and it helps with your fine lines and wrinkles to disappear <clears throat> it's definitely got tons of antioxidants and um, vitamins in it, which is amazing. It just feels good. Another great thing this is used for, cuticle oil. Summertime, my, my cuticles get really dry because I'm they're constantly in the water, whether it be the splash pad, the pool, dishes, whatever. It's constantly dry. So this is a great cuticle oil. For some who didn't know that, hopefully that was a helpful tip. 
I'm gonna go over the pigments really quick too because I didn't really talk about the multiple uses for pigments. So they are mineral based, okay? So they're powder, loose powder. Um, again, someone was talking about making their own palettes. You can make all your powders into a palette and make them pressed. Um, you can do that. There's instructions for that on YouTube, I believe. Everything is, everything's on YouTube, right? This is also great for, again, a um, little bit of shimmer for bronzer <clears throat> to highlight um, your face. You can use it, add it to clear lip gloss and make your own lipstick color. Um, you can use it for temporary hair color if you want to just um, get it wet. So put some color in the cap, make it creamy with rose water or regular water, brush it on a piece of your hair, and then take a flat iron and flat iron that into your hair. It'll wash out in two to three days. So if you've got a sporting event or something you want to go to, take a blue or red or orange or whatever color and do a little temporary hair color. Um, you can use it for filling in your eyebrows, which is another great thing. Mine are pretty dark, so I usually don't do that. Sometimes I do it, but not too much. You can use it as a brow filler. You can use it as liquid eyeliner. Again, just take it, get a little creamy, get an angled brush. Unique does have a brush set, which is great. So get an angled liner brush, get it creamy, put it on, use it as eyeliner. You can also use our pigments for face paint. And as a parent, I love that because it is 100% natural. So you're not putting any gross chemicals all over your child's face as face paint. So for any type of play or Halloween or anything that they need face paint for, use your pigments. And it won't itch and irritate their skin either. So especially for a child that has sensitive skin, pigments work great for that. So hopefully that's a good tip for you. I like it. I like knowing that I'm not putting something on my son's face that may make him break out or irritate or give him a rash or something like that because they are 100% natural. So, um, and the last thing about mineral, um, mineral makeup in general, mineral makeup, you'll notice that it usually doesn't have an expiration date on it because minerals help fight bacteria. So anytime you open up your makeup or anytime you open up your mascara, especially that's why you want to replace mascara, um, every three months at the latest. Um, because every time you open up that mascara and it hits the air and you put it back in, your bacteria is getting in there. You're putting bacteria in there. So a drop of lavender oil works really well in your mascara or, and, it, and, and then don't pump it. Please don't pump your mascara. I'm begging you. Please don't pump your mascara because <laughs> that's when you get a lot of bacteria in there and it just dries out really fast. Um, so a lot of the best thing I think about mineral makeup, besides it being nutrients to your face, um, cause your face does, or your skin soaks up, um, any type of chemical or toxin within 24 seconds. So think of that before you put something on your face or on your body, even your lotions that you use on a daily basis, make sure you check out what the ingredients mean. Um, but, uh, minerals fight off bacteria. So the makeup lasts longer. So you may think, oh my gosh, that's so expensive. I could go get CoverGirl for $6.99 and it will last me a year. But if you think about it, and you have that makeup over a year old sitting in your makeup bag that's CoverGirl, or any type of drugstore mask, or drugstore makeup, just think of all the bacteria you're putting on your face. Every time you've opened that, and every time you put your sponge in it, or your eyeshadow application brush. Just think about that. So, the difference between mineral makeup versus Drugstore makeup or any other brand that's not mineral based, um, you're definitely getting your money's worth because it will last longer and it's healthier for you with more nutrients. So invest in yourself. You are worth it. We don't, as moms especially, we don't treat ourselves very often. We think of everybody else but ourselves. So if you're going to treat yourself, you might as well treat it with something that you love and that's going to make you feel good and confident and beautiful and Every time you put on your face before you walk out the door, even if you're in yoga pants, which I do a lot, but my face is done and I feel good, <laughs> invest in yourself. It's, it's so worth it. And, and it, whether it be in just a lip stain and some mascara, because to me, sometimes that's just my favorite look. Put on some mascara, throw on a lip stain, complete, done. Love it. I'm out the door. So... That is the product line. I hope that was helpful for everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, alanaslashes.com is my website, A-L-O-N-A, 
uh, S lashes.com Alana's lashes. You can also find me on Facebook. Alana's closet <clears throat> is my business Facebook page. I put tutorials, positive thoughts and quotes and good, good things. Just make you feel good things. Um, lots of makeup and beauty tips on there. Um, and that's also where you can find reviews from my clients. And I've also got a blog, blog alanascloset.blogspot.com. It kind of talks to you about my personal life, really, more than anything than my um, than my business. It's kind of the other opposite side of me. So you can kind of see my business side, and then my blog, um, alanascloset.blogspot.com, talks to you about my personal life, which is um, something else I'm very passionate about, which I hope Unique can help me with, um, and that is infertility. So my husband and I struggle <clears throat> with infertility and it took us over five and a half years to have my son. And um, through that whole experience, I blogged through it and a lot of women came to me thanking me for sharing my journey and um, giving them a voice because they were afraid to tell their parents or afraid to talk, to, talk about it to their friends because they were embarrassed. Um, unfortunately, infertility affects one in eight women and so it's probably a lot of people you know but they don't talk about it. Um, and which is a shame because it's a very emotional journey and, and we all need to talk about it. Um, cause it, I learned a lot and things that, to ask my doctor because I talked to other women that the doctors don't talk to you about. They, if you don't take control of it, they could just kind of run you around. You could be spending a lot of money. So that's my other side, um, with, um, uplifting and empowering and validating women. It's beyond the beauty. It's, it's giving women a voice in general and finding their who they are and getting their girl back and following their dreams that they may have written down in a journal when they were younger and not forgetting about them and not forgetting about themselves. So um, hopefully with this unique business, I can um, make an incredible living at it so I can help other women financially through IVF because I know it's expensive and I know I wish I could have had that help financially and I have had amazing support from family and friends um, for sure. So without them, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Um, and I'm also starting Operation Baby Number Two is what we're calling it. So if you want to follow along this, that, this particular journey of mine the second time around, I'm blogging about that. So you can follow that. And um, if there's no questions, I guess until next time, again, my next Periscope will probably be on um, tutorial with Tyra Banks Smack My Fat Lash Fiber Lash Mascara versus 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. So stay tuned for that. And I really appreciate everybody watching me tonight. This was really fun. Um, again, I feel like I'm talking to myself, but I know you all are out there. And at least I look really beautiful to go to bed tonight. <laughs> so um, I wish I was going out somewhere, but I'm literally, I'm in a really cute, uh, thank you, big hugs to you too. I'm in a nice top, but I actually am in my yoga pants. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful um, end of the evening and have a, make it a great week this week, okay? Mwah. Love you guys.